This is the next episode of Geeks and Ghosts, and I'm here waiting for Lou to get dressed. That's right. He doesn't understand what it is to be a geek. We're doing a show. It's Geeks and Ghosts, okay? So you wear something appropriate, okay? I have my zombie outbreak um, response team shirt, okay? And he sits down with a plain shirt. Then he comes back with a, a football jersey on. Like, you know, it's not a sports show. It's geeks, which is like sci-fi and, and, and comic books. And it's geeks and ghosts, so it's also paranormal. So you wear something like that. So I sent him away. He's finding another shirt. So, here we wait. Just me. There he is. Good. About time. <clears throat> Holy shit. Chuck. You good? You good? You ready to start? Yep. Can we start? Maybe. All right. Well, this will be the part where I cue the music and do our whole intro. You have your notes? Do you have notes? No? Oh, Jesus. Alright. Hey, hey. Jason, with Jason and Bobby? You're Jason and Bobby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Why am I Jason? Because you have notes and you're white. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, I'll take that. Alright. <laughs> white so, power. Let's see. Uh, what are we going to start off with? How about... How was your day today? Well, as you know, I'm always working. So I spent the <laughs> whole day. I spent the whole day on murder, mayhem, and missing people. That's all I was listening to today. So anything that deals with Hollywood mysteries and murder, I was listening to it. Wow. Anything dealing with people that that were missing throughout the country, I was listening to it. So yeah, it was it was a pretty busy day doing absolutely uh, very hard, tedious listening. Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, so <sighs> I did find Philadelphia leads the country in uh, the most missing children or missing people in the country. Really? Yeah. How many about? I do not know. I just know that it leads the country. Wow. I wonder. I, was so many, I also found out that you, you'd be amazed at the U.S. Park Services do not keep track of how many people go missing in there in the national parks throughout the country. They have no stats at all, on it at all. Wow. You thought they would, but they wouldn't. That they don't. Hmm. They don't keep track of that. I wonder. I wonder. This this brings up a question. Like, where are all the fucking psychics? <laughs> where are all? Where are they? You know, that are supposed to be missing persons. They find missing persons. They they. Uh, so many of them claim that they work with police, you know, with all these cases and help solve all these cases. Wh why are all these children still missing? I don't know, but it even goes to adults. Um, it, it's just, it's been interesting. The the thing I was listening to all day today, dealing with missing people and, and missing children. And some of them, you barely see them walk off maybe 15 feet in front of you. There was a case of a kid who was playing in the in the woods with another couple's uh, son they're playing hide and seek and they said the boy literally walked away from maybe 15 20 feet behind the tree then when their son stopped counting and went looking for him they he couldn't find them so the parents all all the parents or four of them of course 
We're all saying, okay, come out, whatever the boy's name was. And they were looking the direction he disappeared in. Nothing. They went over there, gone. Damn. Next thing you know, you had close to two to 300 people looking for him. They never found him. Wow. And he wow. was only 15 to 20 feet away from them. And they saw where he went. That's so, that's, that's so scary, man. Yeah. Because I mean, so. going anywhere with your kids, you know, you're always constantly looking at them. And that's the worst worst thing that could happen to you. Well, well, you hear it so many times that it's not like how we were when we were growing up, where we leave the house at 7 in the morning, we come back at 10 o'clock in the evening, yep. and yep. the parents didn't even have to keep track on us because there was no worry. You always knew where you were at. Where yeah. we were at. Yeah. Now you can't even do that. No, no, not at all. Oh, yeah. Well, um, my day was interesting. I got to uh, I, I got to make an acquaintance of somebody that went by the name of T Dollar Brownskin. <laughs> Who I actually known as T Dollar. T Dollar. Take out the R, replace it with the H, and her <laughs> new name is T Dollar. T. My ghetto queen. Wow. T Dollar. Let me. Oh my God. Hey, let me. Let me read the quote. Um. Now you know what she popped up. I had no idea who she was, okay? And I did an analysis on my I Am Kenny Biddle site of the yes. uh, that video with the uh, at the hotel with the screaming ghost and the, the security guard that goes in and checks the room and all that shit. Um, I had done it like a year ago. And uh, people are still commenting on it. And out of today, I got this, this comment, and uh, I'll read it to you. Well, I'll try to read it to you. Um, yes. Because I guess, because I, I concluded that the video was a hoax, um, and that I had mentioned throughout the thread that um, I don't hold a belief in ghosts or spirits because I haven't seen any evidence of it yet. There isn't sufficient evidence. That's what I said. Yes. Um, so, so she responded by saying, if you, the letter U, if you don't believe in ghosts, you don't believe in God. So, Kenny, go back to Satan, you heathen, <laughs> and whoever else doesn't believe in spirits. You haven't experienced anything because, that's a B, the letter B, with C-U-Z after it. Because <laughs> the devil Yes, I know your grammar was absolutely marvelous. <laughs> because the devil already has a hold of you, and God cannot fight for you because you're so blind. Shakes my fucking head. Pray. I'm a pray for you non-believers. So, I responded by saying, perhaps you should pray for the ability to learn proper grammar and spelling. <laughs> and that, that was natural response to me. And then she went off. And, uh, I mean, a bunch of posts where she just went off crazy shit. Crazy. And then started... And I'll take it from there. Oh. What? What? I'll take it from that point. Go ahead. This is right. I had just woken up. Mind you, we're three hours separate from each other. I had just woken Bullshit. up. And I you always... just sleep late all the time. Yeah, exactly. I what wake up at 6, I leave the house at 7, but I really don't get out of bed till 6.45. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and then I'm rushing. Anyway, so I wake up, I check my phone, and what's the first thing I noticed on, on, my, on my feed? There's a fight going on. <laughs> and the first thing I see is the quote of the day. So I start reading this, and I'm thinking, I look at, at the clock, I go, I'm not even awake two minutes, and I'm already seeing trouble. Something I'll get sued for later. <laughs> <laughs> and so I start commenting, and she mentioned something to you about all your friends are now friend requesting me, and I said, oh, yes, I'm going to be your friend. <laughs> and then I guess in between that, and some other quotes, she started going off on the rest of the people who were posting, like on Tracy and, and anybody else who just happened to post on that one. Yeah. Then oh, you yeah. kicked it off. I did. That, I probably, did. that probably pissed me off more because I was really looking forward to having some fun with this person. Well. But you well, denied me that. You go friend requester because I don't put up with that shit. I don't, I don't mind, and I've said this before. I've said this a dozen times at least. I don't mind having a friendly debate, even a slightly heated debate. That's fine. You know, as long as you're making a case and you have something to back it up and you're using reason and logic and, and 
asking questions, that's fine. That's fine. But when you go off on, on this tangent where it's it's you're just cursing people out and telling people that um, one of the comments was uh, to, to one of the other ladies on there saying that you just don't know nothing because you just need some dick. That's it. You know, that's just that's stupid shit, man. And, and there's no reason for it. The whole, I go on rants, but I have a purpose. You know, if I go on a rant about somebody in particular, I have stuff to back me up. I have the evidence. I have a reason to it. And I explain that reason. I still curse a lot, but I still have some kind of reason to it. I don't just go attacking people and tell them you're a fucking cocksucker and, and shit like that. That's not what I do. And and that's what she started doing. She started literally listing um, everybody in, in separate posts and just making comments like that. So there, I, I don't need that on there. I mean, that's not what the, the site's for. It's not the purpose. The purpose is to spread information, have good debate, and get everybody learning and talking about things. Not that kind of bullshit. So, go on. Go on. Sorry. I, I'm sorry I denied you. Yeah, because you're always putting on your I biddle. If you have any problems, to contact me. Yes. And here's the problem, and I couldn't even deal with it. You ran away. Hey, no. Hey. No. no. I didn't run away. I took care of a problem. I, I basically took the trash out. That's what I did. Um, because that's all she was. If you you can take care of it, you you have her name. You know, and she also goes by T Pretty, or Pretty T. That's it. Pretty T. What is that like you? Didn't you? Mm-hmm. Whatever. T Pretty T Dala. T Dala. My kettle. She's getting delicious. <laughs> you can say that. I can't. <laughs> Still got the white thing. Oh, that's right. (laughs) I'm not allowed to say that shit. You get in trouble for it. Right. All right. Oh, shit. Um, Let's get uh, unofficial sponsor number one. Uh, You go first. Pirate Rum. That's what I'm drinking tonight. I have uh, foregone the Captain Morgan and tried Pirate Rum. It's a bit more expensive, um, but it's very smooth. I love it. And I'm Who got really you that rum? What? What? Who got you that that rum? Uh, I did. I. I thought somebody else bought it for you. Uh, no. No, I got it. I picked it up in a uh, DC. One of my weekends down in a uh, DC, we found a liquor store that had um, pirate rum and tortuga rum, which is yeah, I tried tortuga. That's good shit. Mm. I never had coconut rum before, and yeah, that was the first time. It was good, but that bottle's all gone, gone. So they can't be a sponsor until I get some more. <laughs> so what do you got? What do you got tonight? Who's your sponsor? official sponsor? Yes, number two. What are you looking around for? Red Dead Redemption from Xbox Live. <laughs> Is that even open? Did you play that? Yeah, I played it. It's a good game. <laughs> a long time ago. A long time now, ago. Now, it's here. So, there we go. Did you just pick a random game off the shelf? No. Also, I got a letter from a fan. Here you go. And they said they love us. Whatever. Oh, speaking of letters. Shit. Oh, oh yes. Oh, wait. We must hold that back at the end. Hold the at the end? Yes. But This it's, is regards it's so... to, if I'm correct, Gettysburg? It's short. It's so much. what? All right. Keep it but we have news in regards to our comment when we were talking about the whole Gettysburg deal with the bridge. We got a reply. <laughs> but we're going to hold that towards the end. Okay. Fine. Bitch. Okay. Um, let's see. Before we get to our main topics. Um, ooh, ooh. Speaking of video games, Lego uh, Batman 3. Uh, Beyond Gotham comes out November 11th. I love the Lego games. Love them. I, I think I've had... I have them all except for the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I haven't gotten that one yet. But, um... Yeah, it comes out and it's uh, supposed to have over 150 of the DC characters. Including, like, Zod and all the characters from Man of Steel. So I'm happy about that. Yay! I have them. I haven't played them, though. What the fuck? Dude, Marvel... The Lego Marvel 
Yeah, I know. Best game. Best of the whole series. I got the Marvel series. games where they have the actual superheroes and anything. You can make up they teams. They are the actual superheroes. <laughs> they are superheroes. Yeah. Let me look. The Lego ones are awesome. <laughs> no, the Lego one's better. Whatever. This is a new unofficial sponsor. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> you know, if we actually had official sponsors, we'd be set pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Huh? And we're this is only our second show. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, what else? Ooh, a quickie. You, uh, if you're into The Walking Dead, um, you should already know this, but it returns October 12th. Are you excited for that? Yeah. That's why I got my zombie shirt on tonight. Cause I was That's why I got my sweatshirt. I was in the zombie mood. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars news. Did you see the picture that was released? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. The Millennium uh, Falcon and the X-Wing. Yes, yes. It's like a, it's not even half the Millennium Falcon. It's like like a third of it is built yeah. um, with the cockpit and, and that side of it. And then an X-Wing. But it was all covered up. But it's not like you can't tell it's an X-Wing. Here's a look at the picture. You can see it's probably about half the Millennium Falcon. And uh, there's an X-Wing there under the tarp, Siri. So, But did you see the picture I put of Bobo Fett of 1978? Yes. All in white? That was cool. Oh, I like yeah, that. That's cool. I'm thinking about ordering it from the same place where I ordered the Imperial Probe Droid I showed you on the last show. That, that'd be cool. It's going for, that's $159. You can get it now. <laughs> it's available. <laughs> nice. Well, or, or you could get just a regular one and paint it white. Yeah, but no, sideshows.com. Okay. That's where you can pick it up. Unofficial sponsor number four. Four. Okay. We're going to have a lot. I'm going to have to keep track of these because i got to put up the little uh, text. Yeah. That'll go on the all right. screen. It's all right. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, the cat video, wasn't there? We can talk about the cat video, yes. So, um, so you want to set it up? Well, it's a black and white video. I don't know the name of the guy who produces it, but I'm pretty sure you do. I do. Uh, um, Billy G. Walker the second. Yeah. And apparently he's involved in many shenanigans until he gets caught. And then he that's when he fesses, I'm only playing. So, But this one, it's a grainy video. It's black and white. Probably 11 o'clock at night. And it shows something pink, like a white cat. All the way up to maybe chest level height, and then slowly dropping the cat back down. Right. I saw it. And I immediately claimed bullshit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so did I. <laughs> it is it's so it's, bad. Yes. Go for it. You tell them why it's so bad. It's so bad. Well, because first of all, any any security system that you get in the last like five ten years. Much better quality than the the crap, tacular piece of shit that was that video. I mean, it was horrible. It was so grainy that oh, it, it was just horrible. It was like something from the 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 seventies. That's how bad it looked. Um, and you could when you when you enhanced it, you could actually still see the outline of a figure there. So he didn't really he didn't do a good job of. Of cleaning it up and taking himself out of it. Um, Why would he? He's, he's dressed in black. It's a black background. He's probably standing right in the doorway where he can meld with the black all over the place. That was the best video I've seen yet. I mean, it, Which, it's the way they lifted the cat up. I mean, uh, come on. You lifted it. You picked it up like you pick up a cat. You just lifted it up like this and then put it back down. You know, and then it. it it walked a few feet, sat down, turned around, and looked at him. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, the, the cat really didn't help you out there. Um, I mean, if I were a ghost, <clears throat> I probably would have grabbed the cat by his put him up that way. Yeah, yeah. Who's going to get me? Law enforcement? I'm dead. Who cares? But I did pick <laughs> up, um, I mean, I saw it <clears throat> on a, there was an article on Doubtful News um, that featured it, and then they actually referenced... Um, Worst Paranormal, which is another site that I go to a lot, and uh, yeah, run I by, have them too. Yeah, 
uh, Topher Young wrote up a nice article about it. Um, screenshots of all the conversations and, and really went into uh, detail about it. And, I mean, it was, it was funny. I mean, it, the, the, the video itself, it actually was captioned. Um, this guy, Billy, wrote a caption for it saying, Okay, I think it's time I post this uh, for the world to see. I checked my security camera installed in my house and I captured this footage. It is really terrifying. And <laughs> I'm at a loss for words with it. Um, and it, it was well, ridiculous. I was out there in a heartbeat. <clears throat> yeah, if you, I mean, if you see something like that, you'd freak out. And he wasn't. He was looking for hits. He was looking for lights. He was looking for attention. Um, what he he finally admitted. He actually admitted that he used um, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro to do it. That was after he was outed. He was outed. Um, I believe Topher was the one that that called him out on it, because the the guy was asked a couple questions directly. Like, is this fake? Is this real? And his responses were kind of cryptic, but they made the assumption that, or, or they gave the impression that, yes, it's real. You know, he never really came out and said, yes, it's definitely real, or it was fake. He was answering like, well, you know, what you see there is what happened. You know, I was, everybody was in bed at the time this video was, was uh, recorded. So these are the kind of bullshit responses he was giving. And, um, yeah, then he finally admitted, and I believe that he admitted it on a share. So it wasn't actually on his post, on his page. Somebody yeah. had shared it, and then it was, he admitted it on that one. So it wasn't even on his original post. So he's got, like, I think, a ridiculous amount of shares on this. People are... are it, well, it's almost like he's laundering money, but he's laundering video. So you yeah. can't chase it back to him. <laughs> But you got all these bullshit comments, you know, people are believing it and sucking this shit up. And it, uh, oh. it's so ridiculous. Um, well, there was one I think I tagged you in last night. I forget the video or if it was a picture. I don't think you've seen it yet. But it was also some odd looking paranormal picture. And I said, oh, Kenny has to get involved on this one. But god dang it, I can't remember what it was since we didn't really talk about that one. Yeah, I don't know if I, uh, I don't think I saw that yet. Yeah, it's tagged. Just look on your past and you'll find it. That's what we do. It's what anyway. We do. So, you talk and I'll look. So they're looking at, what, um, what's a, what's River Phoenix's brother's name? Bob? No, not Bob. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the hell was his name? I knew it right now. The one who played in the movie Her. I don't know. What? I don't know. You didn't well, tell me anything. About, about getting next to the new Magneto movie. Ah, uh, no. It's on our website. So what about them? Well, it looks like they finally picked somebody to do it. Yeah. And it looks like they've been going back and forth on that one for the past few years as to who's actually going to do it. That could be an interesting character. Magneto, just like Guardians of the Galaxy came out of nowhere, I think this one will be coming out of nowhere as well. It just depends on how well they do with it. I don't know. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy was a fucking awesome movie. Yes. I loved it. Loved it. That's Better than it. the Avengers. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll have to give that. Okay. I, have to do it. I, because, I almost me, cut your video I, off. I loved Avengers. I loved it, but I just thought that even though the storylines were, were flowing, I think at times it seems like they were just Giving dry patches. On it just what? didn't flow as, as easily as it should have. Where? Whereas with Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, okay. everything flowed together perfectly. There was no overlapping that with this. I thought it, it's kind of hard, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Well, you know, I, mean, I, I think because Guardians was a standalone movie. You know, I mean, it, it ties in, but it stood by itself. Where the Avengers already had established, the characters already had their mo their their. Uh, movies already separately, and they were coming together. I think that's the, that's the that's the difference there. But but the only good. the only other movie that I think would compare to it, where the different characters meld together without running into dry patches, is the X Men movie. But the first class, not the one with Jean Luc Picard, but with the younger cast when they were barely beginning. 
I love those X Men movies a lot more than with the all star cast that they have. Hmm. I haven't seen the newest one, the latest one yet. Oh. I thought the new one was really good because they did the amount of time that the old cast X Men because they focus more on the on the new cast. Okay. The new ones. Because they had to go to the past. But I just think it's a better. It's a they're that group of people who put the X Men there work better with each other than with I think than Halle Berry does with with Picard and hmm. I'm calling him Picard because I can't remember his real name. Patrick Stewart. Patrick. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Did we talk about uh, Huff Paranormal and what they did as soon as Joan Rivers died? We did not. And uh, probably because the guy is such a fucking douchebag that I really didn't want to talk about it and give him any kind of uh, publicity. But... If you want to talk about it, that's fine. I'm just going to make obscene gestures um, that are directed at him. And, uh, you know, go ahead. Well, if you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to talk about it. We just tell him, go to our Facebook wall post, and you'll see all about the criticism that we gave him. So, but long story short, the day Joan Collins died, this guy goes off and breaks out with the broken radio. Wow. And... He starts calling Joan Rivers. On the day that everything, every station is either playing clips about her, or you're hearing her name on every radio station. So, of course, when he's playing the broken radio, her name is going to come up over and over and over again. Does it sound like her? Yeah, because, again, they're playing some of her past interviews. Right. And I just thought it was kind of tacky doing that, especially that quickly. I mean, it's almost like he's waiting by the by the phone. Like, who's next to die so I can call him and make a video about it? He did the same thing with Robin Williams. Exactly. And again, same day. Yeah. His name and his, his, his voice is all over the radio. Of course you're going to pick him up. Because I got to a point that I didn't want to hear my radio no more. Because it was just, just listening to it. Now, this isn't one of those broken radios. It's actually a... An old 1967 transistor radio we found at a garage sale. <laughs> nice. So, nice. It's cool, but it makes for a good example because this is the type of radio that they turn the, the make those ghost boxes into. Except this one, you'd have to die. Here we go. Here we go. God damn it. Stop that. <laughs> I got nothing. I know. You don't. I do. I have plenty. Uh oh, I lost you. What the fuck happened? Zombies? Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Um, okay, let's pick up. So anyway, I was done with the whole Joan Rivers rant right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you but, totally cut out. Well, information on that, go to Facebook. Geeks and Ghosts, and there's more info, and you'll see a lot of uh, colorful commentary. Yes, yes, definitely. If you watch this, we I don't know if we plugged it last time, but we do have a Facebook page um, under Geeks and Ghosts. Just do a search, and uh, and you'll see and like it so that you can follow it, and we're posting all kinds of ghosts and geeky and comic and sci-fi, all kinds of shit. It's fun. It's fun, very right. fun. Um, so, what else? What's next? Oh, I have a book of the week. Paranormal book of the week. Don't look around for just a random book. I saw that. <laughs> Here we go. CSI Paranormal. Investigating like Strange Mysteries by Joe Nickel. Ah. Yeah. Uh, picked up this little gem. It's a, it's a small book, but it's perfect for ghost hunters to pick up because it has a lot of information in it. Um, quick and easy. Um, let's see, what else? What, what do we have here? Goes through methodology and evidence, notes on argument and logic, ethical concerns, which I think a lot of ghost owners should consider, um, investigative strategies, going undercover, which I'll be doing um, often in the coming months. 
Um, and then it goes into a lot of his own uh, investigations and details exactly how he does it and how he figures out information. So it's pretty beneficial to anybody that wants to get into more of a the detective role of investigating, which most ghost hunters really should, but they don't. Um, I agree. Huh? I agree. Look, you better. I agree. You better. Um, so here's the book of the week. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, here we go. You get a book, I get a book. I'm pretty sure you have this book. You had a video game. You had, And you had a movie last time. You came and bring the book up? Abominable <laughs> Science? <laughs> yes, Abominable Science. Love that book. By Daniel Loxon and Donald R. Prothero. Trust me, I work... I, I, well... I work when I, I read it when I'm at work in my downtime. Yeah, which is pretty much all day. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a good book though. Yeah. <laughs> you read it? No, I haven't. <laughs> I want to get it. I want to get it. That's that's on the list. Is um, that my copy that you were holding? Yeah. Okay. What? Your they copy? give me that copy. I'll Your copy of this. I'll get you the apostle. Yes. All right. I read it. I'll send it to you. And uh, see, see what I like, Bobby Nelson. I got one of those exactly from the office. There you go. There you go. Boom! That just happened. Boom! Boom! What's your word? What's your word? I forgot what the word was. Remember, it was like a Shazam kind of thing. Oh, shaboom! Shaboom! <laughs> <laughs> we got to work on our timing. <laughs> yes. Shaboom. Something else to work with, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's something. Uh, did I talk about that? I got to. I got to meet Joe Nickel. Did I talk about that? Don't tell us about that. that. You're supposed to do clips of it and everything. I got. I have some clips. I just haven't gotten through them yet. But uh, yeah, I, uh, whew, like a week and a half, two weeks ago, I think I I went up to there. I went up to New York. Last week. Last week. Last week was it? Last week? I'm all screwed up. Last week I went up to Buffalo, New York. And visited the Center for Inquiry offices, and sat down with the Joe Nickel. And One whole day. For the whole freaking day, yes. I got there at like 9:30 in the morning. Didn't leave till like 3:30, around there. And it I was. You and I talked while you were driving home. Yes, we talked while I was driving home because it was a long six-hour drive home, but it was worth yes. it. I was your travel companion. Yes. Kind of, sort of. I put your put the phone right there on the, on the dash so I could look at your sexy face all the way home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was great. It was actually a good time. I really enjoyed talking to him. Um, he had a lot of stories. Some of I've I've heard before, um, but then there was a lot that I haven't heard, and gave me a lot of insight, gave me some advice. I got to play with all the toys in his little lab. <laughs> he let me touch everything. Um, I don't want to know. <laughs> yes, you do. I'll tell you later. <laughs> but it was a great time, and it, I, I, I really loved it. And and he, um, let's see. He, uh, yeah, this is uh, one of my books I have from him. Can you see that? Yes, I it's can read it. The, the light cleared all the white out. Yeah, I know. I got to work like, on the lighting. Yeah, but uh, let's see. Can't. It's all I see is a white sheet of paper. Ah, still white. There you oh, go. Wait. I might have two there candy, you go. Little investigator, well met. Wishes for great success. P.S. I wish you brought your Mexican because he's more <laughs> interesting than you are, and he has tacos. Love, Jonic. I was wondering what that said. I wasn't sure about that last line. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but it was cool. Signed it. He signed my book. Um, autographed it. I Did gave you ask him, if he likes tacos? He Yes, he does. <clears throat> Only on Tuesdays. Taco Tuesday. Damn um, it. And uh, what was really cool is that, I mean, he's one of these guys that he's like a mentor to me. You know, so I, I've i read his work for years, and I respect what he does. love what he does. And uh, I took up the last copy of my Orbs or Dust book that I had. And I went up and told him, hey, you know, this is the one I, I, I've given out and sold and, and this and that. And it, it talks about photography. The one that has dated information, right? It has what? 
It has outdated information? It's not outdated. It's still valid. I'm no. updating it now. But I'm because updating... It's outdated. I'm... It's not outdated. Fuck you. Because it sucks. You suck. You have outdated shit in there. You gave your mentor not... mentor crap. Don't fuck with me. Don't. Don't. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's the wrong way, dumbass. You gotta turn it around no. to have any effect. No. No, because I want anyway. you to see it. <laughs> so, what was cool was that after I gave him the book, he's like, well, you definitely have to autograph it. And I was like, ha ha, I get to autograph a book for Joe Nickel. That's pretty cool. Okay, call me John Collins. I can't deal with this nonsense. No <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. Um, what else right. do we got to talk about? Uh, did that, did that. Um, ooh, the, uh, the Gettysburg uh, ghost picture. No. Yes. Yes. What do you mean, no? Shut up. You shut up. Yes. You just go. We're going to talk about White it. White power. <laughs> oh, man. So, anyway, I just, I actually just posted a video, one of my own videos, about, um, just a little bit about it. But, basically, there was a, uh, a local Gettysburg ghost tour that's run by a let's say, spooky kind of ghost group. That's a little hint. Yes. Um, <clears throat> oh, spooky. Spooky, yeah. <laughs> spooky. Uh, but uh, anyway, a while back, they they posted a picture that they somebody on their tour... Oh my God, you're going like full Mexican. <laughs> 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 We're going to ludicrous speed. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> um, so they, post, they posted a picture. And they got it from one of their tour goers on their bus tour, and it was, um, it was obviously a fake. It was it was a, a ghost phone app where you wait before you go. On. You're recording this, right? Yes. Yeah, we're recording. Why? Okay. Just wondered. Uh, we had the power outage. I got it. I got it. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Just shut up. Um, <clears throat> you shut up. Shut up. Anyway. The picture was taken. Uh, it's taken of the Gettysburg uh, Victorian Photography Studio. Um, that's the place, the the building that's in the picture. And I'll uh, when I edit this, I'll throw the picture up there so you can see it. Uh, and then there's a ghost in there, on sitting on the porch or standing on the porch. This ghost, and I posted it saying it was the real deal, and it was obviously a hoax because. The fucking ghost was like nine freaking feet tall. And uh, something else that stood out was that it was a color photograph and the ghost was in black and white. So it kind of, that stands out a little bit. <clears throat> um, besides the fact that, um, well, I, I posted a comment just explaining all these little details and a lot more than I just said um, of why it was a fake photo. And that, you know, they should probably look into it more. Since it was given to them by a tour goer, <clears throat> which you got a lot of hate mail for. Well, that comment was deleted, <laughs> and then I commented again, just saying, "Hey, you know, thanks for deleting my comment that it fully explained your your photograph. That shows how professional you guys are." And well, that I guess called in the cavalry because a whole bunch of people started commenting <laughs> about it. You know, hey. the pack you can't take one without taking on all oh, of them. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So it was bad, and, uh, and I believe it was, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure who it was, I think it was Angela or Takei, um, the two... Takei. Uh, Takei. Takei. What? It's not George Takei. Yes, it is. All right. Well, one of them found the actual ghost app that was used and found the actual ghost, and then we started posting pictures of... of the same ghost on different pictures and same picture next to it and even that didn't convince this ghost group that it was a fake they denied it and then they actually tried to say that um that me i was a bad person because apparently it was a 10 year old girl <laughs> shut up nope it was a 10 year old girl that submitted the photo and that i'm expecting them to tell this 10 year old girl that she's lying which no, mind you 
This isn't the first under 12 year old child you've had. <laughs> well, I can't hear it help that, it, you know. That last one really had you running up the hill. I was. I get sued, you get attacked because you go after 12 year olds. Just make a simple statement, you know. Except 12 year old who broke your ankle that one time. Whatever. Anyway, so. The picture's a hoax, and I, I wanted to actually write an article, so I went out to Gettysburg and uh, and researched it. I um, actually found the place and took pictures of it and measured it, made sure the porch, because the ghost actually goes from the top of the ceiling to the, the bottom of the porch. And if you look at the That's ghost, a ghost. It's, a, it's a big ghost. And I measured it. I measured it. It's, it's nine feet tall. Um, if he was Confederate, now I know why they lost, because they were such... They were so fucking targets. big. Yeah, you got nine foot tall soldiers roaming around. Fucking walking beanstalks out there. <laughs> like fire blind. Damn oh, right. I got one. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so. But it was a good weekend because in addition to that, I also met um, a woman, uh, Betty Roach. And she runs her own little tour out there and a, and a ghost group. And she told me about the uh, um, – she followed – she went on a, a tour – the same ghost group, mind you, and found that they were using electronic cigarettes <laughs> to create smoke, <laughs> so they really? have ectoplasm um, mist pictures. <laughs> yeah, so they, <laughs> she demonstrates. She took one out. She's like, "Look, put a little black electrical tape on the end of it, so you don't see the light." And she's like, "I hold it in my pocket," and that's what I saw them doing, holding, the, holding it in their pocket. They would come out, <sighs> puppet like that. Take a camera, hold it in front of her face, and just let it come out and take a picture. That's awesome. Bullshit. That's awesome shit, which <laughs> means we'll probably be talking about, about people who have hoaxed in the paranormal next show. <laughs> we're I not wanna... just talking para, we're talking crypto, ufology, anything weird where people have been busted. I say we talk about that next show. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like, like all out hoaxes that have been thoroughly like uh, researched and figured like, out confirmed not not like for example uh we think there's a person in that monkey suit no we for know. like we dire we know he yeah. was a fake so well, anyway there, there was just a bigfoot one right a couple months ago the guy that was going on tour with the the bigfoot body there. and he finally admitted that he, it was a hoax yeah that, that after milking <clears throat> thousands of people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah yeah, a lot of money. Damn. Yeah. We'll talk about that too next season. Or next next, next season. <laughs> we gotta next see if we get through this season. Level so much we have another season. Are we gonna do a season? I don't know. Yeah. We're just gonna keep going. That's our season. I mean we're gonna make them no matter if people are watching or not, so Who cares? Who cares? <clears throat> but we love it. Yes. We love it. <sighs> oh, yes. Crap. What else Bob is Tingle? There? We Bob. love you. We love Bobby Tingle. Love him. Because he's... He is our unofficial sponsor number five for this show. There you Bobby go. Bobby Tingle. Bobby Tingle. He owes Bobby us Bobby Tingle money. is brought to you by Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> where he wears the Smurf hat every day. And eats enormous amounts of bacon. Yes. And cheese oh, and that... chili and other stuff. He's a great photographer also, but that boy can eat. Yes. I thought I could eat. He's a good photographer. He's a good fighter, too. Good fighter. Dear friend. Yes. yes. Definitely. Oh. Okay, enough of it. I'm back to the show. Okay. <laughs> what else are we going to talk about? There was uh, something else we would miss. Oh, the, 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 the satellite deal. Oh, yeah. That's your... Go ahead, talk about that. So, I posted on, on, on our Facebook page, and there's a link to it, where JPL, or in this case, the planetary.com, they deal where, NASA has a deal where, before they send out a, a satellite, no matter where in, <laughs> in the universe it's going, they ask you if you want to put your name on the disc, which they then put onto the ship itself, and launch it into into orbit. That's cool. In return, you get a certificate that you get to print out. 
Sometimes they're pretty cool. Sometimes, eh, they're not that great. But, but it's a free certificate. Like, for example, I put my name for the, the rover that's on Mars right now, the main one. I also put uh, Jason Corbis and, and Bobby Nelson, our friends at strangefrequencies.net. Unofficial um, sponsor, number six. Six. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so their names or our names are on the disc on that rover that's going all over the place. Now, I've put my name, I think, on seven different satellites. A couple have gone just orbit Mars. The other one is actually running around on Mars, which is the, the little rover. That's cool. There's another one that, that uh, is orbiting the moon. Um, there's another one that impacted the moon, so I think I'm part of the ground there, too. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then there's this one, which is Osiris RX. And on this one, it's supposed to land on an asteroid. I guess it's supposed to take some samples. And then from there, it's supposed to come back home. So literally, I'm intergalactic. <laughs> Just like the Beastie Boys. Put that up close. So. Done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that was our first yeah. official dance routine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so I've gone intergalactic, but you can do it also. You don't have to just go to that website. You can also go over to JPL, which is located here in California, but they have a website on the internet. And you can go on there, and also they'll have programs there where you can put your name on for submission so they can add it to a disc on the ship. Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, so, though. But you can, but for the planetary, for the satellites, they got another two satellites getting ready to take off also where you can have the option to put your name on there, and it's free of cost. So you can put your kid. One day I had nothing to do at work, and I mean, I was busy at work, and I added, I think, 34 names. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy at work, but I added all these names. It's all good. I, I was adding people's names everywhere, but... That website is planetary.org, and it's held, headed by, uh, what's his name, Phil Nye, the science guy. Yeah. I, so, I, I'm going to go see him. When? When? Uh, when? I have t my ticket here. It's, uh, but anyway, while uh, he's looking for it, it's a really, if you guys have time to listen to that podcast also, just look for, for their, um, from the planetary.com. Yep. It's a good website. I am going up to uh, Brooklyn, New York on September 21st. I'm um, going up with my uh, my buddy Jason Ferguson that I used to work with. Um, he's in my uh, my group, the Skeptics in the Pub, Philly edition. Um, but the Bell House is uh, having a Star Talk Live um, starring Bill Nye. Um, and their podcast is Planetary Radio. Sweet! And, and it comes out every week, and it's at least... I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, but it's a really, really good show or a really, really good podcast. I like stuff about astronomy, so I'll listen to him. I'll listen to another one called Astronomy Cast and, of course, Star Talk. And if you people are familiar with Star Talk, then why are you so for white? Is there a UFO in your house? No. Nah. Get... Shut up. Anyway, that's, there you go. So that's a good one. It is good. There I am bleached out again. Yep. This camera right. sucks. Yeah, it does. Oh, well. Oh, damn. We're going all gangster. Okay. Let's do the rest of the show like this. Really? All right. It's you versus me and my two homies. <laughs> yo, yo. You got a white guy back there. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have come to liberate you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So I think, damn, I think we covered like all the topics that I had written down. Oh, we did it. 
What else? We got one more. What do we got? What did we talk about last show that we were going to do that you were about to sh- talk about that you weren't supposed to talk about until the end of the show? Oh. The letter. That's right. Okay. Now i got to look it up. Okay. Make so sure. anyway, while he's looking it up, last at the, on the last show, um, we were talking about how a lot of ghost hunter groups have gone over to the beach in Gettysburg, which is pretty his has a significant factor in, in history during that battle. And a lot of them running around looking for a ghost called Mr. Tennessee that he'll smoke a cigarette. And then when they leave, we happen to find that they leave their cigarette butts on the side of the bridge and don't even bother picking it up. And if you look last time on the last show, Kenny placed a lot, of, I think, a video and, and a link or pictures to it showing just how bad it is. Now, it's not just this one section of the bridge. I mean, I mean, it's not, the cigarette butts aren't all over the bridge. It's just on this one section of the bridge. So that's where they do their, their little, let's talk to Mr. Tennessee. So we mentioned that we were going to get in contact with the Gettysburg Foundation and Park and Recreation and anybody else that has anything to do with that that are not ghost hunting groups and let them know, look, here's a potential fire hazard. You know, enjoy the history. Love your history that, that you have available to you before some goofball That's accidentally right. burns the stupid thing down. Damn, why am I so white? You're so, because you're a white guy. There you go. So, we decided, and since I love getting, I, like I mentioned to Kenny, when other kids at five years old, six years old wanted to go to Disneyland, honestly, I wanted to go to Gettysburg. I didn't get to go there until so many years later. But with me, I, I, yeah, yeah, both of them. Andy, but I love that location. I love everything to do with it. So it pissed me off when he told me what these people have been doing and what they're not doing. And so here it goes. I think Kenny has it now. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready yet. I need a few more oh, seconds. It's not ready. Like always, the Mexican has to fill in, take care of this for the white. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Whatever. So, but anyway. So what they do is they go, they do their little trick with the cigarette butts. They all applaud Mr. Tennessee for taking a hit. And then once he's done taking a hit, they walk off and let the wind just drop the cigarette on the ground. And that's it. And if you know Pennsylvania or Gettysburg or that area of the country, once it gets dry, all, you don't need much to start a fire. And that bridge is located to a very, very leafy slash forested area. And being in California, I've seen many fire forest fires. Something to go through that battleground or just burn down that bridge would be devastating. Right. And then you lose your history. I should know. California decides to destroy its history and build new parking lots and malls every damn chance they get. <laughs> All right, I found Actually, it. It's sad. I found it. So here we go. You want me to? You want me to read what I wrote? Or yeah, read the whole thing. I read the whole hey, thing. Everything. Basically said. Uh, Let's see, I wanted to bring your attention to something I see as a potential fire hazard uh, to the bridge. I came upon the following video, and I linked the video, on YouTube after receiving some concerned emails from residents and visitors to Gettysburg. In the video, a ghost tour is using a lit cigarette as a prop for a ghost story. Uh, They are bouncing it on the railing and allowing it to fall off repeatedly. On a recent visit, I found three individuals trying to copy the video um, what they saw in the video. <clears throat> when I asked them what they were doing with the cigarette, um, how they heard the cigarette story, uh, they referred me to this video, showed it to me on their phone. When I looked over the railing, I found at least a hundred cigarette butts all over the ground. See attached photo. I'm concerned that these tours and the video videos visitors are making because they're copying the, uh, the tours, um, as well as the people trying to ghost hunt themselves, are going to cause a fire come fall and dry weather and they leave the lit cigarettes all over the place potentially burning down the bridge um, the reply I got was thank you very much for the heads up the information um, I'm going to look into this I'm going to pass this on to the county as well and uh, thank you very much Mark so I mean I don't know what's going to come of it yet I'm hoping to follow up with them in like a, a week or two but at least we got the word out there, and maybe they'll do something to um, stop these guys. I mean, it, it, I don't mind 
I, uh, it's not a big deal if the tours go there and tell stories. You know, that's fine. But if they're lit, lighting cigarettes and showing people, oh, look at this, it falls off, it falls off. You know, it won't take much. If they do it um, at late one fall night, you know, and it falls off, some ashes fall off, they don't realize it. They just pick up the cigarette and walk away. The ashes are still there, still lit. Catches some leaves, catches some branches. Before you know it, the whole bridge is engulfed. I mean, it's a big, it's a big deal. It, it doesn't seem like it, yep. but it is. And I, yep. I don't want to see that place gone. And I know about this firsthand because, uh, let's just say, when I was younger, a garage caught fire. Maybe two. Okay, we'll just go with that. And that's all we need to talk about that. <laughs> and I don't know where it happened, but I was there, so, but yeah. But anyway. We don't want that to happen here. You're not allowed to have because, matches. I mean, yeah, they could rebuild it, but would it really be the same? I mean, it's already been rebuilt once, and it has some of the originals, parts from the original bridge on here. But if you burn it down, there's no more original of Damn. anything. It's done. So that's our, that's our. Uh, how would you say, our public service? That's a public service, yeah, for, for Gettysburg and for ghost hunters and stuff. I mean, it's just... It's irresponsible how they're doing it, the ghost tour, how they're doing it, you know? It's here. Yeah. Damn. We did it. We yeah. did it. But I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel bad. I feel good because they shouldn't be doing it. We did it. You know? We're awesome. Bullshit. They gave us another reason to hate you. Well, Yeah. Because they'll, they'll just see me and they'll be like, oh, there's Kenny Biddle. It's his fault that we can't do this anymore. It's all well. But I don't care. You can blame me for the bridge being there for the next hundred years, bitches. That's right, <laughs> bitches. I agree with them. Boom. Uh, so I'll be taking back to Philadelphia next year. When? Not sure yet. I know it won't be this year. Well, this year is almost <laughs> over, bitch. That's right. So it won't be this year. <laughs> but when I do, it's probably just going to be me by myself. Oh. We're going to be really, really busy. We can't talk about it. Yeah. But we have a couple surprises for those episodes that are coming in. <laughs> Let's just say we're going to be everywhere in maybe three days. <laughs> we're going to be tired. <laughs> we're going to load up my little Kia Soul <laughs> with provisions <laughs> for three or four yeah. days worth. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to go... Towards Maryland, we're going to go, of course, Gettysburg. But we can't tell you what else we're going to be doing because there's a couple surprises on there yeah. that we're really talking about. Aside from Tombstone, we're going. So, but for sure, next year, you know, man, it's itches. <laughs> That's because you need to take a shower more than once a week. <laughs> Why should I? I don't really care because you're not around me. I have me. a pool. I just shower in the pool. <laughs> I have done it already. Hey, that's racist. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Let's uh, let's see. I got um, we 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 got what a half hour on this, and the other one looks like it's a half hour. So we got to wrap this up now. We we hit our hour. I think we did better this time. We did good. It was uh, smoother. Um, hopefully, the video actually turns out good and your audio doesn't sound like you're in a fucking tunnel. Um, and, but the video looks better this time, too. So. Yeah, on oh. both ends. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't see as much choppiness as last time. Right, right. So maybe more likely the video will come out or the, the audio will come out better. And except for the little snag with the zombies attacking your house. and uh, Yeah. You had to go take care of that shit. Yeah. And then come back. Um, Can't help that. Let's see. Uh, I want to plug real quick um, the Paranormal Journeys Expo, September 27th in uh, Horsham. It's a, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Graham, Graham Park. It's in Horsham, PA. I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm going to have a booth and I'm going to be speaking uh, about uh, science and critical thinking. Um so if you're in the area, if you if you live in the area, come on out. Um, it's free to walk around the vendors, and each lecture is five dollars per lecture. So it's pretty cheap. There's no entrance fee. 
you know, like most of these conferences where you got to pay like a hundred bucks to get in. <clears throat> it's not like that here. Um, and if you're in the Allentown area or Lehigh Valley, um, on October 5th, I'm going to be speaking uh, for the Lehigh Valley Humanist uh, group. And they're going to meet at the Allentown Brew Works. <laughs> I'm happy well, about that. That's the trivia question of the day. <clears throat> oh. Who wrote the song Allentown? You can't say nothing. That's easy. Who cares? Everything we do is easy. Just well, what like if they you. get it? How are they going to respond? <clears throat> You're easy. Put it up. On, well, no. What are you going to do? How are you going to, how are you going to judge who gets it? Write it down on our YouTube page. When you go and you read it, you see it. Write it down. Well, then we'll figure out something later. There you go. And not, on, not on our Facebook out. page. On our YouTube. On the YouTube page. Okay. okay. Whichever. Because if you do it on the Facebook page, that's cheating. Okay, okay fine. YouTube. Okay. You have and to then check we'll send some later. We don't know what. Might be a pencil for all we know. But hey, we'll try sending something. Right. I I will send something. I will send yes. We don't know what yet. We don't know. It'll be it'll be the mystery ga gift. We'll try a mystery gift. So if you get it right, you give me your address. I will send you a mystery gift from this office. It won't be anything really oh, you cool. Might get a five dollar, you might get a five dollar gift certificate for Taco Bell. You give them that. I give them that. Okay. Um, and that's it. they have Taco Bell your services. <laughs> Taco Bell, our unofficial sponsor number seven. seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. I think I'm done. I don't have any other topics, and um. I think we're good. We're good for uh, this episode. I thought it was good. I'm happy. I liked it. Yeah. Well, I was really worried about the last one. I. Well, why? The first one, and I always told you the first ones are always horrible. This was much smoother. <laughs> I mean, we did good. Yes. So I, I think so. You weren't as nervous. You were nervous. No. Whatever. I was just changing shirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch. Um, I will talk to you later. And, uh, yeah. What was that? You need a tagline. What was the tagline from your Royal Society of Science? Oh, take nobody's word for it. There you go. And I will say, never stop learning. And, and final thing is, we love you, Robin. Wow. We do. Okay. Yes. Later.